And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful, and today is the day. We're going live. Today is the day, uh, the first little sell off on Bitcoin off the highs here at 52,861. So the question is, where does price go next? And uh, I'm guessing we're going to have a bounce off this purple 200 uh, pretty significantly unless we reject right here and uh, and really just close back below the last kind of low here on the 15 minute time frame at 51,744. 51, um, the daily is still healthfully onwards and upwards volatility is not even beginning to decline. So this probably tells me we do have a one more lay day left. However, any kind of a closure tomorrow, which the daily closure is coming up here in about 15 minutes, any kind of a daily closure back below 51,326 likely begets a little bit of a downside move. And why do I say that? Well, um, we're going to have some bearish divergence, multiple drives, one, two, three, four. Wow, that could give us a pretty significant, a significant move to the downside. Four drives, typically, Three drives get you a shot to the um, the green 55 or to the bottom side of the range. So important, you know, I'd say critical level to hold is that 45,386. As long as we're up there, uh, things are okay. But I think it's going to happen in one day. Probably not. Do I think upside is a little more likely than not? Yes. Simply put, because the five-day closure... You know, we've got uh, two five day closures in a row. We've got volatility expanding and we said, look, likely going to get a 40% move off of this volatility uh, expansion play. 40% from this candle, in fact, is going to take you back to the almost to the highs. 40% would take you back to 59,000. Uh, and what is that defined as when volatility gets above 25%? And then you look at the direction of the stochastic. That is the momentum indicator. And that tends to get you uh, the direction of that 40% move. So, you know, will there be pullbacks along the way? Uh, very likely, yes. And um, I'm expecting, you know, probably some kind of a range. And I'm just going to move this box back up to this area here, noticing the Fair value gap, so they call it, fair value gap uh, being filled on the four hour time frame. I'd consider any kind of a pullback into this zone a another buying opportunity as this little tiny dip did get bought up very quick. Who's buying it up? Well, Stuart McHenry says two bold predictions. The Bitcoin will reach a new all time high before the halving. There's simply too many inflows from the Bitcoin ETFs. Number two, the bull run will last longer than the past ones as people reallocate investments into Bitcoin via ETFs over the next year or two. Interesting, um, nice little graph here on the inflows for the 14th, coming in somewhere around $300 million. $300 million, um, 300 millions, I think that that is a pretty pretty nice inflow there so far so good uh, probably the weakest day that we've seen in the past few days noticing bitcoin's price coming down a little bit what else did i want to bring up so buying opportunity for bitcoin anywhere in this zone i'd bring it down a little bit lower in fact like that something like that as you can see this fair value gap got bought up very quickly and uh you know four hour volatility is beginning to decline Alongside the HPDR uh, bands, uh, we're just caught in a range here. So any kind of a dip down there would be considered a buying opportunity. When we start to close four hours back below 50,000, I'd say actually, yeah, 50,000 bucks. That's good enough for me for a little bit of a downside correction on a short term time frame. But all other time frames are up and at them. Uh, you got the daily uh, making a nice higher high and the next higher low, probably gonna be the next major buying opportunity. What else do I wanna bring up? Let's take a look at the liquidation levels here. People are net long at the moment and you've got major liquidity coming in here at 
50,700 and 50,500 and the bright pink down here. Those 100X longs coming in at 49,656. So I do think uh, we'll, you know, get bought up on the first pass, but uh, that's something to note there. Also, open interest is uh, pretty high, pretty high. So I want to take a look at the leverage ratio if I can get signed in on this account. The lever And by the way, smash the like button if you want to see my top altcoin pick. I know I went over one yesterday that a lot of people had questions about. DSO, the decentralized social media platform. Um, smash the like button, somebody out there. If you want me to talk about this new up and coming uh, project in the gaming sector, gaming coins are getting quite, quite a bit of love here. And uh, this is a new one. So I will bring that up at the end of the show. All right. Next up, uh, we took a look at liquidation levels. Open interest is getting back up there to pretty high levels. Uh, let's see if I put this on the one day chart. So open interest has not been this high since this last pivot over here at, uh, well, open interest back in March, 2022. So people are opening up levered positions, futures contracts, pushing the price higher. Generally, when open interest is going up, you're going to see price going up and vice versa. As open interest comes down, typically price goes down. So I'm interested about this theory that uh, we do make all time highs. And I could kind of concur with that. If that move happens over the next two weeks, well, the FOMO is really going to start to kick in. You know, people want to buy when it's high and sell when it's low. And when we get back up to 59,000 bucks, well, we will be very close to the all time high. So we'll have to look at what traditional markets are doing around that time as well. Gosh, I think I'm going to have to go down the coin list here and checking out Ethereum Bitcoin, trying to, you know, mount a sloppy higher low end. I'd be waiting for any kind of a tick here and ETH really starts to take off. You can see Ethereum cracked 2,500 bucks here, or excuse me, 2800 today 2800 dollar ethereum thought who would have thought well we did we're talking about um more importantly 3500 dollar ethereum and again that is just the measure move off the break of this massive ascending triangle giving us a nice little target back up here at about 3500 bucks and Ethereum, all systems are going. You can see volatility is maxed out. The RSI is way in the bullish control zone. So when volatility starts to decline, more specifically this moving average, that's when you expect a mean reversion to, um, you know, somewhere in the middle, I guess. Somewhere in the middle. And um, again, you know, tomorrow's closure Friday is going to be important. So if we do um, tick that box off as well, you're going to have that bearish divergence on Ethereum as long as the RSI is below this pivot at 84. So, um, you know, markets tend to move in waves of three. So first leg correction, second leg sideways correction, third correction. Could this be the start of the next leg? Maybe, maybe there's a bit of a hype uh, surrounding this Ethereum TF. You can see Vanek, ARC21, hashtag Grayscale, Invesco, and the iShares, BlackRock, Ethereum. They all applied for that. And the deadline now is, I believe, March 23rd. Is it really March 23rd? Let's see, March 23rd. Ethereum ETF four days bye -bye. anyways needless to say we'll be back on the date on that one open interest going up liquidation levels and how would we judge this you know short-term correction on bitcoin as a trap or not when we're looking at the shorter term time frames and technically for me this is a sell on the first pass off the green 55 but as long as we make a higher low, yeah. So green 55 alongside declining volatility on the first pass uh, is after the silver cross is when the 21 crosses the green 55, typically going to be a sell on the first pass. 
Do we have anything else pointing out here, right? Staring in front of us. We've got the day closing here. The day is going to close and the stochastic is way up there crossing. Uh, so this shows that, you know, the market is still trending and you are going to have stochastic divergence. So and that's on the four hour time frame. Uh, the daily closed as a nice little uh, indecision doji candle topping candle. That's, you know, uh, typically the pivot of a top. But do I think it stops here? No, I think the, the hype is real. The FOMO is real and Boy, if you're starting to feel like you missed out, it's really hard not to chase the price right now, but conservatively, you want to at least wait for some kind of a pullback along the 21. You know, once it gets uh, trending, eventually you get that pullback right there um, as we went up to 37.9 and back down to 34. That was a 10% pullback right there. Here is another one that was a 10% drawdown there and another one there. You know, these are all about 10%. So 10% down from where we're at today pr pretty much brings you in line with that uh, pivot here at uh, the last high. So that would be a good place for, or the middle of this wick would be a good place for a nice little pullback and maybe to dump the rest of your dry gunpowder into the market. Again, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, um, but just wanted to give some ideas there checking in on total two market cap looks bullish this is all the altcoins excluding uh bitcoin and ethereum you got total market cap also looking bullish for all the coins in the marketplace and i think that's it let's take a look at honey got a lot of questions about this one this one does look like a bit of a reversal um honey is yeah, this looks like a good trend reversal. Um, if you're waiting for that uh, signal, well, that would have been it, that uh, blue candle right there. But now we have formed a bit of a W, closed above the middle wick, and could you call it a sloppy W? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would call this a W, but, um, you know, short-term target back up to 30 cents, which is a bit higher from where we're at today. I want to check in on Mr. Doggy Coin. Doggy Coin broke out here, the massive wedge. And where can we get a potential target for Mr. Doggy? Short term target, I'd be looking for something like this to revisit the highs off of this one. Can we get a pullback? Yes. Uh, invalidation would be back below this pivot here at about 0.08094. Chili's another one that has been kind of trending here as of late. Did have a nice uh, nice daily close here, putting in a- I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. higher low and what would you expect next well a higher high um so probably some room left on that one stacks any kind of a tick below yesterday's low probably gonna have a swift move to the downside stacks typically follows at bitcoin roll bit uh finally getting a bounce finally getting a bounce here and uh yeah it just needs to close above <laughs> pretty much anywhere here or higher and this one is going to lift off back to about 25 cents Good old roll bit. Where is my countdown bar to close? Countdown bar to close at the moment. Link. How's Chainlink doing? Chainlink is just flinking around here and momentum did flip to the south side. Pretty good cross down with um, some stochastic divergence, you know, downside moves 1841. If it is going to play to the downside. 
Otherwise, you know, more consolidation and those upside targets we've been talking about still in play as long as we are above 1680. Um, I would say it's fair game. And uh, all right, getting make sure you smash that like button if you do want to uh, get that last pick of the day. And this one is, you know, pretty much looks like a W to me. You've got the uh, left side here, left side. Boom, 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 higher low. And we be expecting this one to at least approach the highs there. Close enough is close enough, but the next on this one for DSO is going to be somewhere around 54 bucks, $54. Um, let's see if the shorter term time frames are giving us anything here. And yeah, so we got a consolidation right around the green 55. And um, let's see if I can get rid of this chart here. The green 55 is coming in right here. And we did give this trade setup yesterday. For those of us looking to get involved, uh, looks like it's pretty pretty close to maximum you know entry level. If you are going to get in on this one, might be a decent time. And um, checking in on Mr. Tau Coin, the the coin that never stops, just keeps running. This is one of the AI projects out there that's pretty strong. And then Casper, I am looking at this one as uh, a bullish consolidation uh, above the trend line and likely uh, upside target is going to be about 16, 375. We're trading at 13 cents right now. And another one uh, putting in maybe a potential top as we revisited the high to a T. Uh, almost had a blue sky breakout, not quite there yet. So let's keep our eyes on that one. Tau, Link, Axel, Stacks. I mean, Neutron, another one just having a huge day. And we did say this was, well, you can see that trade setup worked out pretty good, but um, missed half the move. Um, now, where's the upside target on this one? Well, maybe a little bit more gas in the tank, but um, if Bitcoin comes down, you know, this one kind of plays um, opposite of Bitcoin or separately or you know not not exactly correlated to bitcoin's price kind of has a mind of its own i do like this project with that said guys i'm gonna leave it off there i hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day and we will be back tomorrow with another one take care